Okay, so I got the transfer switch opened up here and I'm gonna test for the, make sure it's got power on both legs of that there. Um, I was able to just undo one side of the mini split and then just kind of pivot it out. So it's still one bolt still in on the other side. Okay, let's see. Doing this one handed. One twenty five. I guess I don't have to change them. It's, it's alternating current. But... And one twenty five on both legs. So the transfer switch is working. That is not the problem. Um, just a second. That's in and that's out. The other one. Maybe this is the outside. As long as everything's pushed in, that shouldn't be the problem. Now there's a plug that could be. Okay. So I have the transfer switch set up to a plug and this apparently came out and that's why I had no power. So fix this up. Make sure that's not rubbing through. Let's go. Should be able to solve it. Can I get a bigger screwdriver for that? Maybe that ground wire has been able to get hot from that, where that screw comes through. So I'm going to take this off and move that down lower so it can't come anywhere near that. Okay, well, that fixed the problem. I now have. Uh, input voltage to both inverters and uh, it's just that wire had come loose in that plug it's weird because we've been sitting still for a long time it just i guess it just got hot and then wasn't making a connection anymore that would be my guess but it's working now